Hi, welcome back to the Grammar Park channel. This is Sharanisha. In this session, we are going to see the MCQ or objective questions on of adversity written by Francis Bacon. If you are new to this channel, please like, comment, share and subscribe this channel. If you want to know the line by line summary on of adversity, please see the link below I have given in the description box. In our summary, we have seen what is of adversity. So adversity is nothing but it is a state of misfortune. In the meantime, Bacon has spoken about also the state of fortune too or it is called as prosper. Question number one, what is adversity? Adversity is a state of misfortune. Whom does Bacon refer in the beginning of this essay? He refers Seneca in the beginning of this essay. He is a tragedian too. Adversity is a thought-provoking essay which brings the words of fortitude. Adversity brings the words of fortitude which tells the man's body is like a frail ship which sails through the waves of adversity in the world. It is nothing but adversity. Seneca says good things that belong to adversity are to be admitted more than those that belong to prosperity. So adversity is a state of misfortune and a prosperity is a state of fortune. So how do we wish the prosperity? In the meantime, we should admire the adversity. This is the thing Seneca comes to say. The Latin words bona rerum secundarum optabilia adversarum mirabilia. This sentence means the above lines of Seneca. Bacon places in this essay importance of prosperity and adversity in life. Generally, men love prosperity, which gives courage to the locked up man. Adversity gives courage to the locked up man. What does Bacon say about adversity? Adversity has its own virtues in many aspects. What would be admired according to Bacon? Adversity should be admired according to Bacon because a person who undergoes the adversity, he will gain more willpower and he will become stronger person. So he wants the people should admire the adversity. What does this t adversity teach us? It teaches us fortitude. Fortitude here it referred strength or courage. What does the Old Testament teach? The Old Testament teaches prosperity. Adversity discovers the virtue in man. Miracles appear in adversity. Prosperity is the blessing of Old Testament. Adversity is the blessing of New Testament. So Bacon here refer the Old Testament in it. He compares the characters Solomon and Job. So Job undergoes fortitude. He faces many misfortunes. But Solomon blessed, blessed by the God. Solomon he is a king and he is also blessed by the God with complete prosperity. He lived a better king. But the God has explained more things about the Job who underwent more adversity but not the Solomon who underwent prosperity. So even the God gives importance to the prosperity. But in the New Testament it is clearly explained. The God's ways are clearly explained. So this is what he compares here. So uh, Bacon compares the prosperity to the Old Testament, adversity to the New Testament. What does the New Testament prepares? Life of trials of adversity with faith and fortitude. Adversity engenders and fosters virtue. If the miracles are the command over nature, they appear most in the adversity. What is very magnum, habere, fragilitatum, hominis secundatum day? There is a typing mistake. It is true greatness to have in one the frailty of a man and the security of God. Where the transcendence is imaginative flights, it means, are more allowed. In poesy, adversity would have done better in poetry, likewise says. And adversity is figured also in the strange fiction of ancient poets. 
they are not without mystery this is the point which bacon stresses here what are the examples in ancient works in which the mystery present hercules when he went to unbind prometheus we have seen the story so prometheus was a titan he was once ruling the world and uh, he he stole the fire for the human kind for the welfare of the human kind so he was punished by god and he was bound in a chain later hercules unchains him and releases him and to reach the prometheus he travels in a pot in a waving sea even this story too clearly explains how prometheus underwent adversity in order to rescue prometheus the virtue of prosperity is temperance the virtue of adversity is fortitude prosperity is not without many fears and distastes distastes in the sense dislikes and adversity which is not without comforts and hopes without adversity there is no comfort and no hope prosperity sows the seed of vice how to judge pleasure according to bacon by the pleasure of eyes we should pleasure the heart pleasure of heart which is like precious odors most fragrant when they are crushed virtue who works well to discover virtue adversity works well to discover virtue which works best to discover vice prosperity works best to discover vice Thanks for watching see you in the next video before quitting this video please like comment share and subscribe this channel and if you want to know the further videos please press the bell icon